People are using smartphones more than ever, and this trend isn't slowing down anytime soon. Whether you're new to smartphones or not, you should know that they can be a huge target for hackers. Smartphones contain a lot of your personal information, which can give someone else all they need to steal your identity or your digital data. In this video, we're going to tell you how to stay safe while using a smartphone in this digital age. Facts First presents How to Protect Your Smartphone from Hackers 10 Simple Tips. If you're watching this video on a smartphone, click the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. Strengthen your password. Some of us might look back at the good old days when having a password was a few characters long. It was easy to remember, and you didn't need something that looked like it spilled out from the matrix. Unfortunately, these days it's too easy to guess a standard password, so it needs to be uncrackable. Here are some tips for making your password a little stronger. Combine old passwords with a new one to get supercharged passwords. You can add the name of your favorite animal or food with the year you first knew that. Add that on to the end of any password you already have to make your password like Fort Knox. Since most social media sites allow up to 15 characters for passwords, keep your login original. Characters and numbers are fine, but adding symbols and other special characters can really take your password up a notch. Be smart on social media. Social media isn't nearly as private or protected as you may think. In the old days, you could easily block people from looking at your information. But with the size of Facebook, it's rare that your profile is truly private. To maximize your safety, always click the settings that only allow your friends and family to see your posts and pictures. Unless you know someone who wants to be your friend, be cautious about accepting friend requests. Fake profiles can fool you into thinking you know that person. A quick look at their friend list and recent posts tell you if they're active in a group or not. Never look at a message to a friend request with links that look and feel fishy. Some sneaky hackers can copy friends' emails and send messages with links, hoping you'll press the link. By the time you do, you'll be suckered into giving up info you didn't want to be stolen. Worse yet, you could be locked out of your own profile account if they steal your password too. So always be on the lookout for suspicious messages. Don't use open Wi-Fi. It's nice to get free Wi-Fi when you go to your local coffee shop since you probably know the owner already. But if you start seeing ads and other things on your smartphone, you might be getting fished. This is when someone uses open Wi-Fi signals to push viruses and phishing schemes to your phone. Never click on a link that comes from free Wi-Fi sources, especially if you visit a place you don't completely trust. When in doubt, consider approaching the manager or owner to see if they intended you to see something on your smartphone. It could be something that might seem harmless at first, but the risks of hacking software tools is too high. They can search for your private information and you won't even know your info was stolen until it's too late. Identity theft is the most common smartphone scam and can ruin your life in too many ways. If your smartphone doesn't come with its own service connection, don't waste your time with any free Wi-Fi. Luckily, with so many devices that have 5G connections, you shouldn't have any problems staying connected privately. Add more protection. Just like your home computer, you need a good firewall to protect your internet connection. Luckily, new phones do a bit more than that. Every phone has its own firewall, though you can always add more security apps to be double sure, and this is a measure we recommend. Some apps work better for Android than they do for iPhone, but there's plenty of software available. A quick look through the Apple Store or Google Play app list will get you started. Some app names such as Norton, Avast, and McAfee are your best bets. It doesn't hurt to add this extra protection to your phone. Some firewall apps protect you from select dangers to help keep your ID and info safe, while others just target viruses. When it comes to overall coverage, find an app that offers complete packages. Choose what's best for you. Don't answer unknown numbers. The only scams we used to encounter were rudimentary email scams that were incredibly obvious. Who would fall for that these days? Well, sad to say it's still happening to those who own a smartphone too. Did you ever get a missed call with an area code you don't recognize? While most of these get blocked by your phone automatically, some can slip through. Chances are, if you call back that number, you'll be sorry you did. The trick to this is that your call is routed through an international premium rate number. These are called IPRNs and can charge you way more than your monthly bill. It's called the Wanjiri scam, and it's more common than you think. If you call back that number, the cost of the call gets paid to the hackers. These one-ring calls are the typical signs of this scam, so you'll think you missed an important call. Don't be sucked into losing your money. Just erase or block the number. You won't be called by that number ever again. Hopefully, your smartphone will block other calls from that same area code as well. Use cloud storage. Cloud storage allows you to store important information and files in a location that's not on your phone. 
This can be smart because it means the files aren't located on your phone. If your phone is lost, stolen, or damaged, you won't lose any of the data in cloud storage. Most importantly, this means your information can be kept out of the hands of hackers. Cloud accounts are pretty hard to crack, so even if you have an account on your device, it'll be safe. These accounts often have double password encryption, so no two login attempts are the same. You might need a second login code sent to your mobile number to complete a cloud login. This keeps hackers from getting the information you want to keep private. While it might seem odd to put private information into cloud storage, it's not such a bad idea. Having a mobile device clutter-free when you use it for business means you don't have to worry about misplacing files or running out of storage. This also helps you travel light wherever you go. And you won't have to worry about losing your pen drive that could fall into the wrong hands. Check app permissions. All apps have settings that allow app permissions. This tells the app what it can and can't do when it's connected to the internet. Some of the common options include whether an app can access your photos, contacts, or camera and microphone. This is really important since you might not want your audio or visual gadgets to be used by other people. These settings also control the amount of info given about yourself and the information that's stored on your phone. If these app settings are set up to your approval, then you won't have to worry about that info being leaked. Often some hackers target certain apps that don't have secure internet connections. Your live images could be stolen through your phone or tablet, and you never know where they could end up after that. Worse yet is that your private info can be sold to marketing agencies who will target you just from your mobile search history. No, it's not just Facebook that does it. Numerous third-party app pirates like to sell your private info too. This can be avoided by checking your app permission settings on every app you decide to download. Watch out for phishing apps. By now you have a good idea what phishing means, and those who get hooked weren't being careful. Online game apps look attractive and have lots of flashy advertising, which is a bit like a worm on a hook. If you ever knew someone who likes sport fishing, they use special bait to lure and catch their fish. The same works for game apps, which tempt you with flashy graphics before taking your information. You'll know when you see these apps because they aren't on the official app sites such as Google Play or the Apple Store. Often they're traps that show up on rabbit hole websites. This is where you click on a link to a second website, which takes you through a string of different websites. You never actually get to the website that you're looking for. It can seem endless at times, and this is where you start to see very familiar app game links. These are usually copycat games that look just like the official ones, but they're not. They can trick you into giving up all sorts of information to play the game. They can also hack your phone, giving them access to your private info for them to exploit. Don't ever fall for this kind of fishy bait. Activate your phone's security features. New mobile devices give you lots of choices to protect you from getting hacked. There isn't a smartphone out there today that doesn't have software filters that spot apps or files with dangerous malware. This is similar to software and computers, which will prevent you from installing software that is detected to be unsafe. Antivirus blockers for apps are easy to turn on inside your smartphone settings. They're specifically designed to look for malware in app games. If a game doesn't download, chances are the app could be harmful to install. This is also great for kids who might not fully understand the apps they're clicking on or downloading. Once again, if your device thinks it's not good for downloading, you don't want to risk being hacked. Make sure you stick with official games that come from sources that have already screened their app games. But even Google Play and Apple Store apps can have malware that's hidden somewhere, so always activate your virus app blocker to be on the safe side. Go beyond passwords. Having your smartphone stolen is about the worst thing you can imagine. Then again, if they can get into your phone because you don't have a password set up, you're in real trouble. Fortunately, there are some innovative things you can do to prevent thieves from getting your information too easily. New apps and models now allow fingerprint identification to unlock a phone. For it to work, you press a touchscreen window holding your finger down. If your print doesn't match the exact image that's stored in the phone's memory, it won't open. This can also be combined with a two-step process that uses a fingerprint and a password. In addition, you should also install a mobile tracker. This can be activated as soon as you notice your phone is missing. An owner can then track their phone via the app and catch whoever is carrying your stolen goods. Some apps will even allow you to delete the info that's stored on the phone in an emergency. But as long as you can get your phone back in one piece, that's probably the best solution. Better call the police for help once you finally track down your phone. By now, you probably have some ideas on your own how you want to start protecting your smartphone from hackers. Now we'd like to hear from you. What's your biggest concern when it comes to smartphone safety? Let us know in the comments. And if you liked what you saw in this video, be sure to subscribe to Facts First for more great videos.